as a woman, people have fought for me to be able to, to vote. As an African American, people have fought for me to be able to vote. As a young person, you know, it wasn't that long ago that you had to be 21 to vote, so they could ship us off to war, but we couldn't vote for the president. Well, we're gonna vote now, right? That's right, that's right. So just remember that not only are you here because you want to vote for Obama, you are also here because you want everybody you know to vote for Obama, okay? The great Dr. Martin Luther King had a theory. It was about, it was something about a dream. Does anybody know this story? Okay. Now, he didn't live to see that dream, but what he did do is he placed a seed, a seed that has grown far and wide, that allows us to operate as individuals, to allow us to have the simple right to know our place as human beings. As I said, if you neglect the opportunity to use that voice, you're taking that for granted. As we look at the state of our country right now, all of us say, a lot of us say, you know what? It's either going to get worse or it's going to get better. Well, I say it's going to get better as a result of change. And what I came to realize was that the size of our challenges had outstripped the capacity of a broken and divided politics to solve. That the American people were hungry for a new kind of politics a politics that wasn't based on tearing each other down, but was based on lifting each other up. A politics that was based not on divide and conquer, but on unifying the country, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Republican, Democrat, North, South, East, West, red state, blue state, all of us together. A politics that wasn't based on ideology, but practicality, and wasn't based on spin and PR, but on straight talk and telling the truth to the American people. And most of all, I decided to run because I was counting on you. I was betting on you. I was betting on the fact that the American people are a decent people and a hardworking people, willing to sacrifice and work hard for the next generation. And I was betting that young people, in particular, were ready to take on the challenges of a new generation. That you didn't want to just live off the sacrifice, the sweat, the tears, the blood of earlier generations. You wanted to make your own mark on history. And I was determined. I believed that if we could get all of our voices together to challenge the status quo, to challenge the special interests in Washington, that there was no problems we could not solve and there was no destiny we could not fulfill. And I am here to tell you, South Carolina State University, that you have vindicated my faith. Because all across the country, I have seen people from every walk of life, but especially young people, for the first time, pay attention to what's going on around them and get involved and get engaged and stand up for what is right. 